Hey guys, my name is Bjorn and this is a quick tutorial on how to make a convincing fabric shader using pretty much just Maya notes. In this case though, I'm using V-Ray as uh, my render engine. So as you can see here in my hyper shade, I have a shade already set up with a bump map and a, a diffuse map that I exported from Mari. I'm just going to apply that to my bed model here. As you can see, it's looking pretty flat as it is. There's not much going on, but the, the I mean the texture is working, but it's not really looking like fabric just yet. Cloth is basically a lot of small hair strands that are woven together, and so there's a lot of small strands protruding from the surface, and that makes the light react in a certain way when it's held up against the light source. What that means, though, is that <laughs> a way to fake this is. Uh, by using a sampler info node and a ramp node and I'm going to just middle mouse click drag the sampler info node on top of the ramp node and choose other and now the connection editor is going to come up this is where I'll connect the facing ratio of the sampler info node uh, to the UV chord of the ramp I'm just gonna make the bottom white and the top black, like so. Now I'm going to need an actual shader to plug my ramp into. So I'm just going to plug the ramp into the diffuse color of my facing ratio shader that I just created here. Just a normal V-Ray shader, V-Ray material. Now if I go back to my ramp, I can adjust the fall off as you can see on the facing ratio node that I have the my shader so I can adjust how much I want this light fall off to be now finally I'm just gonna make a blend material just to blend the two materials together and I'm going to put my diffuse shader into the base material and I'm going to put the the Fennel fall off into my secondary input now as you can see as I scrub between our two renders, I think it's pretty evident that the ramp shader does make a difference and it's a nice hack to faking the fabric look, especially because this doesn't increase render times at all really. So it's a really easy and quick way to get some decent looking fabric that's not too CG-like. 